up, guys? My name is Mr. Miola, and welcome back to End of Earth. Well, guys, I've been busy. I did a whole bunch of off-camera stuff, and I'm pretty excited to show you guys. And I'm just chilling out here with some zombies for the time being, but okay. Okay, they're not so friendly after all. So where do I start? Let's, let's, okay. Wow, a meteorite must have crashed, like, right here. I missed that. Holy crap. That is awfully close. Wow, okay. <laughs> that was lucky. All right, if we head inside here... Nothing is too different in here. Nope, 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 nope. If we head into here, yeah, pretty much the same, same. If we head into our smeltery, it's pretty much the same, except I did actually uh, smelt up a whole bunch of cobble in here and uh, expand this upwards. And I did, in fact, die in there as well. So if we go over here and have a look inside, we have some blood inside, which is kind of crappy, uh, but that's okay. And out here, is where all the magic begins. As you can see, you may actually not recognize, well, you recognize the area, but you may not first notice what I've done around here. Um, basically, there was a lot of craters around here. And well, I kind of fixed those and patched those over. And then I basically leveled out all of the dirt. So as you can see, all the dirt is now at a single level. And uh, basically I cleaned the area up and I really like it like this because it kind of, it gives me like a lot of room to work with. Um, as you can see, it's like a sort of big oval circle type thing and it comes all the way around here and it's all even and it's all looking good and I'm so happy with it. So um, there's that and while we're here, we also have to drop a bunch of torches because last night a whole lot of mobs came and spawned inside and that wasn't cool. That was not cool at all. We kind of nearly got overrun, but we prevailed. We survived. We fought them off, and uh, yeah, we conquered. So let's go ahead and light this up just a tad. Um, what I should probably do is get that meteor thing. Get this bad boy right here. And drop that. I think right about here was good, I think. And it's turned on. Let's turn block comets on. This actually did block a whole nother barrage of comets. It was the... Uh, Ah, the kitty ones. It blocked a whole lot of... I think it was the kitty comments anyway. But basically, we ended up with 56 fish. I don't know what dropped the fish or the purpose of that. But yeah, that's what happened. Um, and over here as well. Of course, if we've opened all of this up, then we've opened up a whole bunch more buildings. And we have this building here, which is all open now. It's yet to be renovated. And we have this one as well. Which, if we head inside, it's like a library. This thing is a library. This probably makes more sense to be our like enchanting area i mean i mean look at the freaking thing why did i not i don't know i should have made this my enchanting station from the start but uh that's where we're at basically we've got a nice little perimeter with this around here we've moved our slime stuff over there and uh that's pretty much where we are as you can see i now have a diamond pickaxe because i went through my entire other diamond pickaxe we did a whole lot of caving and we've also got this bad boy here, Miola's hammer. And I think we also have another hammer here, which is the stone hammer. Um, so these hammers will basically... In fact, let me go like this. Because I think these two hammers can actually... Well, they heal they heal durability while they're in your inventory. Red meteor gems from meteorite should make them shield stronger. Why is it telling me that? That's kind of weird. Um, if we have a look in here, we have a whole lot of netherrack, which is uh, basically fueling our little system that we have going here. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of, eh, not a whole bunch of stuff. We've got some stuff kind of running through the redstone furnace and stuff. We've got a whole lot of ingots and goodness up here, which is really cool. Um, kind of losing track of how much there is and stuff, but that's pretty cool nonetheless. Uh, let's go ahead and dump those up there. And uh, yeah, we're getting about a bunch of sulfur, a bunch of nether quartz. Let's go ahead and plop these with those. And uh, well, that's pretty much where we are at. But what I want to do today, today, I'm going to start off with uh, checking something out. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I want to try it nonetheless. Uh, we're going to need three of those and four of those. In fact, we'll take half a stack of those. Uh, and we're going to craft ourselves an anvil. It's something we haven't done yet. I think that's how you craft an anvil. It is. So we've got ourselves an anvil. And I'm going to plop that there. And the reason I'm crafting this is because I want to check out this stuff. Um, can we heal this stuff, basically? We can. Okay. Thank God. Thank God. So let's go ahead and heal. Okay, I thought we just like duplicated our, our stuff or something. Let's go ahead and heal all of this. Because... Okay, we... One, two, three, four. 
It's not all the way, but it'll be enough. Um, and one, two, three, four. Okay, so I've gotten here with all of that stuff up. So I don't know if that'll make it like protect me better or anything like that. Um, but it'll do for the time being. Um, I think our upgrades are kind of cool. We don't really need to go upgrading them too quickly. Um, but one thing I did want to check out today is an item. It's part of uh, basically what we've got going on here. I think it is anyway. In fact, let me just go into this chest and grab out a piece of sulfur. Because by checking out the usages on this, it's going to give us the recipe for this. This is what I want to craft today. We need three redstone, two lead, a copper, and a sulfur, which is very, very basic. And we can craft ourselves a leadstone flux capacitor. Um, maybe I'm actually going to see, are there any other types we can get? Capacitor. There are a lot of different flux capacitors we can get. Creative. Okay, I think that's the creative mode one. Uh, the tuberous. That's... Okay, it holds 16,000. No, durability of 16... I don't... Um, how does that actually work? Send a receive... Um, clever but not rechargeable. Okay, never mind that one then. The leadstone, how much can that actually hold? Uh, 80 or 80,000. It can hold 80,000 power, I think, and it can charge at a rate of 80. What's better than that though? Hardened flux capacitor? Okay, and then you can go and upgrade it with just tin. And what does that hold? 400,000. How about the redstone one? That's still pretty. Okay, that one needs a diamond. So that's kind of a little bit stronger. And that gets 2 million. And resonant. I don't have any enderium, enderium ingots yet. Or pyrothium dust. Uh, but let's start off with the basic recipe. Uh, where was it? This one here. 2 leads, 3 redstone, and a piece of copper. So 2 reds. Piece of copper. 3 redstone. 1, 2, 3. I think that was all, wasn't it? So like that like that like that and sulfur there we go okay our leadstone flux capacitor in fact while we're here why don't we go and upgrade it because it's fairly cheap to go and do that so we need three more pieces of redstone oops one two three we need three pieces oh no that's not what i wanted to do three pieces of tin which i think we've got a whole bunch of one two three and i think that is all so like that like that Nah, I did that wrong. I did that wrong. There we go. Okay, so like that, 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 and like that. No. What have I done wrong? Three. No. What am I doing wrong? If I want to craft that, I need that in the middle. Three redstone. Oh, two inva. Two inva. Where's that inva stuff? Where's that inva ingots? I know that he's... Oh, here, here, here. We got a whole bunch of them. Two of those. Okay. Okay. So, two Inva. One tin. A little flux capacitor. And a three redstone. And we've got the hardened flux capacitor. Now, what we can do with this... This basically is... It sort of acts like a battery. So, we can uh, throw it into here, I think. And I think it's going to charge itself up. Maybe... All right, so it turns out that I misunderstood how the flux capacitor works. What we actually have to do is craft ourselves an energetic infuser. And to craft that, we're going to need some transmission coils. Are they all the same? Two transmission coils, a reception coil, and then basically the same items we've been using for absolutely everything so far. So um, I guess let's get the show underway. Okay, nope, we don't need that. We need these ones here. So, we start off with a redstone reception coil, which is very simple. And how do we craft these? So, we need two silver, six redstone. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, the silver, which is here. Two silver and one piece of, or well, one golden nugget. Um, so, two silver in the middle. Two redstone, two redstone. Okay, two of those. Then we need the, hmm, what did I do wrong there? Aha, we need an ingot, not a nugget. What was I thinking? Okay, ingot there, and the two redstone, and then we have that piece there. So now we have three of the seven parts we need. Next up, we need the two copper gears, which are, of course, very simple to craft. Four, one, two, three, four, and two iron ingots, which we don't have. There we go. Okay, two iron. There we go. Two copper gears. And the next two are a little more expensive, I think. 
We need the leadstone, whatever it's called, which is four pieces of lead, a redstone block, and four glass. Now, I hope we have glass somewhere. Um, I don't actually remember if we do or not. I swear we crafted a whole bunch of it recently, though. Um, it'll be in one of these chests if we do. We've got two there. Do we have any sand? What's this stuff? Salt. Uh, sand, sand, sand. No, no. Come on, glass. I know you're here somewhere. There's some sand. It doesn't like... Uh, no, not looking like we do, unfortunately. But that's okay. That's an easy fix. Um, what we can do... What we do? Throw that. Okay, let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, whoops. What did I do? Let's... What did I do with my sand? Let's throw 8 there. One of those. While that's going, I'm going to sleep over here. Um, that way those can spell. We only need two, so it'll take like no time. Um, so there's those two. They should be working now. Uh, we then need... What was I going to do? I had something else to do. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Check out this one here. Take those out. Put those in there. We're going to crush up these nether copper ores. We've got two of those in there. Now, we need those two there. And a redstone block. Which is nine of them. Uh, so there we go. Nine. Oops. There we go. Uh, four pieces of lead. I think I got those wrong. Actually, no, that's right. That's right. There's our leadstone energy cell. Now, the last part was the machine basic frame. Again, four pieces of glass. Ugh. And the tin gear. Okay. So, another piece of iron. Uh, in fact, let's just take all of the iron. Uh, tin. One, two, three, four. Um, we need four more glass, which is thankfully ready to go. Um, and I think that was all we needed. So, tin, 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 tin. Piece of iron. Um, can't remember now. I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting. Um, the glass, the glass, the glass. You know what? Stuff it. I'm just going to have a look. I'm just going to have a look. Four glass like that. Okay. One, two, three, four. And the iron around the outside. And there we have our machine frame. Now, the machine frame. Now, I can't remember this one. That goes like that. Those are there. That's there. I think that's like that. Yes! The energetic infuser. Now, I think we can just throw that onto the end here. And that's going to power up on its own. Fantastic. So, as you can see in the top left corner, it is slowly increasing its energy holding thing stuff. And uh, we can go and adjust it just like all the other machines. So, let's go ahead and get rid of everything because we're not really inputting or outputting anything. Let's put our hardened flux infuser here. And as you can see, its durability is increasing quite quickly. It's actually very quick. Um, so slowly, 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 that's going to increase to 400,000 to its capacity. So we'll leave that in there for a bit. I don't know what comes out the side here. Maybe you can do two at once or something. I'm not sure how that works. Um, but you know what? That's actually enough power for me to demonstrate what we're actually going to do with this. Basically, what you can do with this item is let's go and take all of our armor off. Now, as you can... Actually, hold on. Let me put it back on for a second. As you can see on the right of the screen, uh, basically, there's no energy in any of that item. However, if we take it out and uh, let's say... I think if we leave it there, is it going to charge up like that? Maybe. I know definitely if you put it in the hotbar like this. And then I think if you hold shift and right click like that, as far as I'm aware, it is actually charging our armor up now. So if we go and put it on... I don't know if that worked or not, but it should. Oh, wait. That's the only energy module. Okay. So, that's the only... This is the only part that we've actually installed energy on. So, let's see. I don't, I, I don't actually know. Oh, yes. Look at it go. There we go. The energy's... Oh, yes. All right. Nice. Is it still going? Oh, we used it all. That didn't last long at all. Okay. Keep charging there, buddy. Keep charging. But now, our boots have increased again. And uh, I'm not actually sure what that means. I can't, I can't actually remember what... Like our boots, what like required energy? Maybe the underwater boost or something like that. But this stuff here doesn't, so I'm not sure how that works. Um, heat sink, the layer of plating to soak up. I don't even remember putting that on. Basic plating. We still got to put like energy shields on this stuff because it's actually not that protective at the moment. Um, we, the batteries would be nice to upgrade as well. HV capacitor. How many? All right, let me have a look. Let me have a look. How do you actually craft a HV capacitor? That's actually not too bad. That's pretty... Hmm. Now that we've got like an unlimited amount of energy, it could be smart to go and upgrade the energy on all of our... Huh. 
Well, now that I think about it, hmm, maybe we should do that. Let me salvage this. Actually, no, because we we just powered them up. Okay, okay. Let's craft four of those HV capacitors then. What do we need? We needed four pieces of paper, four redstone, eight wiring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need oh, four ender pearls. I know I've got them here somewhere. I don't want to use them for this, but I'm going to anyway. Four ender pearls. Do I actually have glowstone? We need four glowstone and four pages. I know I've got four pages over here. Uh, I've got a lot of pages over here, if I remember correctly. Maybe I don't. Okay, no, there it is. Four of those. And we need glowstone. There's our glowstone. Nice. Perfect. Okay. So we can craft ourselves some HV capacitors. Like this. One and two. Oh, and three and four. Of course, we got like four pieces to charge. Okay. So now that we've got those four, let's go ahead and create ourselves some elite batteries. Install. 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 And install. And our legs, our basic battery we can salvage. I don't know if that gives you that in return. It doesn't look like it. I don't even know what salvage does, to be honest, but fair enough. But now they've all got lots and lots of power. Well, they should anyway. Let's have a look. Three. Okay, yeah. They're all, are they all charged? Charged, 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 and charged. We kind of wasted a bit of energy before, but that's not too bad. This here, is it charging? I don't even know if this thing's working half the time. Um, that's full of energy. That is, I guess they're all kind of full of energy. It's charging, so it must be working. And it's charging that as well. So, yep, I'm going to take that as a sign that it is in fact working. Our armor is all charged up. Maybe we should upgrade this stuff a little. You know what? You know what? Let's leave our armor for the time being. Because I want to test out some more of these machines. Um, what? Oh, okay. What is it? I always do this. There we go. Okay. Uh, thermal expansion. So, we've got all these ones up here that we can craft. I think all of them use a machine part that's going to need glass though. So, maybe it's not in fact a good idea. We've got the sawmill. I think we've got the induction smelter, don't we? Is um, alloy. No, we've got the alloy smelter. We don't have the induction smelter yet. But I don't really know what you actually use it for. Uh, magma crucible, we have the fluid transposer. We don't. Now, I believe the fluid transposer is used to take fluids out of the machine. So basically, we could put use, we could connect a fluid transposer to this and uh, take out the lava and use it in buckets instead. So that's kind of a cool feature. Um, it would give us basically unlimited lava and not just be able to use it for energy, but use it for like, anything we want. Um, energetic infuser, we just made that one there. Basic, can we upgrade that? Huh. Uh, machinist workbench. What is that? A strong box. I don't know what... Hmm, that's kind of interesting. And then we got some other stuff. I actually don't know what that stuff is. Um, what's a strong box? I actually don't know what this strong box thing is. Looks like we can use like tin. Okay, I'm actually going to craft one of these. I don't, don't know what they do. Uh, since we have enough tin, might as well. Uh, tin. Where do all our chests go? We've got like 30 of them lying around somewhere. Um, not here. Not there. There's our 11. Okay. So what is a strong box? We only got two pieces of tin. What happened to the other two? I thought we got more. Um, tin tin. Okie dokie. So tin tin. Tin tin. Chest in the middle. There's our strong box. Uh huh. Information. It's a box. It stores things. Well, most things can be enchanted to hold more. Enchanted? We can enchant this? Do I have a regular pick on me? Okay. You can enchant this item. How do we... Hmm. And what... Oh, let me have a look. So that's a strong box. Then we've got... We can harden it by using Inva. We can reinforce it using hardened glass. We can resonate with that stuff. That's the creative one. Oh, and then you got catches as well. Okay, no, that, that's all. That's all. But we can enchant it. I don't even know why we made that. It kind of seems a bit pointless. 
Um, what are we going to do with it? Oh, yeah, this one here. So we're going to go crafting table, strong box, which we can actually do with a regular chest. No, no, strong box, two copper, and a piece of paper. We've got the two copper. We're going to go over here again to get the piece of paper. Which is there. Okay, so paper, two copper. We don't have our... We're going to be somewhere. Crafting table. Okay, crafting table, strong box, two copper, and paper. Gives us the machinist's workbench. What mod is this from? Thermal expansion. Okay. So what does this actually do? Interesting. Crafts things. A crafting recipe may be written to or read from a schematic. What? It stores its content securely. Shift and right click a schematic to craft it instantly. What? What? No recipe. Holy crap. How do we load it though? How do we load from a schematic? Um, can I... Something we're using all the time is one of these. Oh, what? We can actually do that? Um, how about... Oh my god. No recipe. Be a crafting grid. So if we just... If we just... Can we just like... I don't even know how we just did that. How, I don't know how we did that. Oh. That sounded like a meteor. I don't know where it crashed though. It, it should have missed our stuff. I don't know how I got that recipe down there. That was the weirdest thing I've ever done. What? It's really bugging me now. I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that. But that's a really cool feature. Once we work out how to do that exactly. That will be a really cool one to use. As a final point for the episode. I think what I want to do is demonstrate to you how awesome these two <laughs> hammer tools are. We've still got these little combo kitties going around. Okay. Let's get our little stone hammer here. And basically dig. Oh, wow. That's a terrible start. Terrible start. Dig straight down. And, uh, basically, you can see how amazing this would be once you get to, like, a level where you can actually, like... Oh, hold on a second. I haven't come across this stuff in a while. Once you can actually, like, strip mine... Okay, cat, get out of the way, please. You're in my way, man. You are in my way. Once you can, like, strip mine at diamond level with this sort of stuff, you'd pretty much be unstoppable. Unfortunately, this stuff only, uh... What's it called? Recharges on the surface, not anywhere else. So you can't really like recharge them with the mossy stuff down here, uh, which is a little bit of a shame. But hey, it's not too bad, really. Hopefully, I'm really hoping we don't dig into like lava or something because that would just be terrible. Um, maybe I'll sit above this, and it'll save us if we come across any lava. Maybe a little bit further. I really don't want to break this tool either. Let's go ahead and can we not break that? It's just silver. Um, how about this? Oh, wow. Yes, you can't get that. That's a shame. Um, okay. That's it. Okay. We're not using it anymore. It gives you like a warning one, thankfully. So that's it for that one there. Okay. Now, with our obsidian. Now, this one does last a little bit longer. But it's still not incredible. Like, it could be a lot better than it is. Uh, level 14. 13. Okay, there we are. So now we're at level 11. Now, I really want to... How far deep are we? Wow. I really want to see if we can find anything. Because, I mean, you're chewing through so much. So, the chances of coming across, like, diamond or something are kind of increased by a fair bit. But, yeah. I don't know. I haven't really spent a whole lot of time trying yet. So, I guess we're going to find out. Okay. The shaders have been turned off. It's just easier to mine without them. So... Let's head on over this way, because dirt is just everywhere, and it's a real ball breaker. Oh my god, dirt, leave me alone. Gravel, come on! I'm trying to mine here. Let's try this way then. All I want is like one diamond, and then I will be, oh my god, dirt, come on. Come on. It ain't no fun when you're getting in my way. What if we go up here? Let's pick this one. All right. You can pretty much dig out like an entire chunk pretty quickly. Let's get this redstone. Redstone's kind of coming in handy now, uh, especially since we're using it in a bunch of recipes that nearly would have gone bad. I don't know. Um, where's our little hammer gone? Let me find one. There's literally nothing down here. Even in terms of like pretty common ores, there's nothing. Okay, I don't want to. That's quicker to get like that. Okay. 
fair bit of redstone and this like trinium no nakwada that ore but it doesn't really mean much to me it's kind of like yeah whatever okay might as well get the redstone while we're here and this one oh wow well. no get out get out get out oh my god that nearly didn't go well but i didn't even take any damage from that this stuff's incredible is that because i powered it up it doesn't really have good protection on it i don't think it did anyway and that my friends is why you do not dig down come on maybe a little further maybe a little further still nothing still nothing any diamonds anywhere Diamonds is something I've just had so much trouble finding. Ooh, a bit of uranium. I haven't had that stuff in a while. Ugh. All right, iron. We're coming your way now. Come on, anything? Maybe a little further. Ah, gravel. Yeah, gravel. Leave me alone. Ooh. Ooh, are there zombies around here somewhere? Okay, that's not a good idea. Maybe down. Maybe I shouldn't mine straight down. I learned that the hard way. Okay, there's a cave here. Anything? Anything? There's a bit of stuff. No diamond, though. How do we not find diamond from strip mining like that? Like, if you can't find diamond like that, you might as well just give up on diamond forever. Because, like, good luck. Good luck. You don't want to fall in lava. There are no diamonds down here. Oh, man. Anything, please. 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 They've only got like a couple more durability left. <laughs> this is why you cannot find diamonds. Three durability. Oh, that was the last one. Oh, man. Man. We got a whole lot of cobble there, which is kind of cool. We can use that stuff. Let's go ahead. I'll take the cobble. Why not? But that is a really disappointing mining trip. That is a really disappointing mining trip. I am going to end this here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm going to head home in disappointment now. And uh, I guess we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. <laughs> I'm going to cry myself to sleep. Kill the troll. Hoon, baby. Ready? Nice guy. Nice guy. Nice guy. Nice guy. Ooh, energy. Energy. What is even happening? Get me out of this room! Oh god! Oh god! This is Shrek Swap!